I'm Laura Mulholland. I'm an ecologist for the Canal and River Trust, and we're at the Crofton Beam Engines today, carrying out a fish rescue whilst we are undertaking some major works here. We've got specialist contractors who've come in to carry out this really specialist work for us. And what they'll do is they have a rope tied around their tummies. They've got a full dry suit on so that they can get into the canal. And then behind them, they'll have an inflatable ring or a boat with a big tub in it full of water that's ready for putting the rescued fish into. They have in front of them, in their hands, a hand net and a pole with a halo shape on the end, a bit like a metal detector. And as they walk through the water, they swish the metal detector thing in front of them, which will send out a very low level electric current. Any fish that come into contact with that will be very briefly stunned. It's a bit like being tickled and their muscles will stop working. So they float up to the surface and then with their other hand, with the hand net, they can gently sweep the fish out of the water and pop them into the tub behind them. The fish will recover within about half an hour and they'll be swimming around again and we'll take them further upstream out of the way of the works area and release them back into the canal completely unharmed. So we're expecting to pull out in the range of a thousand pounds of fish out of the water. And those will be a range of species from pike to bream, roach, maybe some tench. So all sorts of different UK freshwater fish. Part of the canal was dewatered yesterday. Where that dewatering has happened, it's exposed the mud uh, along the edges of the canal. And in that mud, we've seen fresh otter footprints. And seeing their footprints in the mud here shows that we have otters thriving on our healthy fish population here at Crofton on the Kennet and Avon Canal.